So the next step is to remove these four acorn nuts, pull up the retainer, and right here is a zip tie. Okay, so I am going to attempt to very carefully expose enough of the zip tie so that I can cut it safely with the side cutter. There it is. I'm trying to pry the metal plate after removing the hex nuts, cutting the zip tie. This is somewhat scary. It, uh, it says to carefully remove the cover. Well, the cover goes down about three quarters of an inch or so. And it has a lip on it and the rubber boot kind of fits in over the lip. So I have plastic pry bars but it seems to want to hang up in the corners. Um, you have to get the metal retaining plate above the molded lip in the, in the dust boot. What it probably is, it's so much of an angle over here that I'm catching on the threads. There we go, that's what it was. I was too much of an angle and now the threads were keeping it retained. 13 millimeter wrench broke free the bolts on the exhaust hanger and apparently the hanger itself. Uh, I'm gonna loosen this one, break this one free. Uh, there it goes, broke free. Oh, that was really easy. So it's, it was a recommendation in the instructions to remove this hanger just to make it a little easier. We, what we have to do is we have to remove this boot. It's just like above, it's held in with a zip tie. And as you can see, I mean, there isn't much room. There isn't much room down here. It's an intimidating looking project just because of the lack of space. Okay, that plugs out of the way. I'm just gonna move it, just completely move it out of the way. Cut the lower plastic cable tie located at the front of the rubber dust boot. Lower plastic cable tie, front of the rubber dust boot, slide the boot back on the gear shift rod. Use care not to cut or tear the boot. Okay, well here it goes. To cut that plastic that it's looped through. I think that's my best bet. Not to try and cut the zip tie. There there it goes. To try and damage the plastic. Oh, that actually did it. I need to just there we go. Got it. That worked that actually worked great. Pulled the zip tie out. What I did Instead of my side cuts, instead of trying to cut the zip tie, I damaged, I damaged the, the loop part of it. I cut that off and was able to separate it. That is the way to do it. Then you have no chance of damaging the rubber boot. Okay, so this isn't going as easy as it should. I figured the hardest part was going to be breaking free the catalytic converter bolts. That was very easy. I'm having a problem knocking this pin out. So, I read some stuff. Uh, a lot of people, it turns out, they drill it out. To drill it out, you want to use a bungee cord to hold the rubber out of the way. Well, actually, it's not a bad idea to hold the rubber out of the way anyways, because it frees up a hand. Um, important, use a bungee cord with a rubber or plastic tip. I went and actually bought a punch, a straight punch, which is what the instructions say, so I'll have the best surface, contact surface for driving that out. I'm going to make a few attempts at this. If it doesn't work, I'm going to stop wasting my time and I'm just going to drill it. see now with my flashlight if it moved at all. 
doesn't even look like it moved. I'll tap it a few more times. Some people are claiming they've had to tap it for about five minutes. Maybe I need to hit it harder. Some more leverage. It doesn't look like it's moving. I hate to do this, but I'm gonna try and drill it. I'm trying to be as square as I can.